diabetes is still growing and diabetic complications are still growing. Diabetes, obesity and hypertension growing and growing all over the world. What's really causing the epidemic of diabetes is the epidemic of obesity. That's exactly what we see here in China. Having this type of awareness rising enterprises in a hotbed of development such as Shanghai is very important. Kodi comes in order to introduce to the world what they should do with different question that is still unanswered. There's a lot of discussion, a lot of lively debate. And the literature is full of recent clinical trials, a whole new range of therapeutic options. We now have come to recognize that there's a whole new class of drugs called uh, the Inquitin mimetic molecules that have been approved uh, in the US and in many countries. But now we've come to learn that you can use these in combination uh, with different medications. And these combination therapies can produce weight loss that's up to 10% of body weight or more and come close to normalizing the hemoglobin A1C. Uh, you actually can reverse their disease, normalize their blood glucose, and keep them normal for a very long time. I think this is the number one message that I would take home. Cardi is an avenue for us doctors, especially as general practitioners, to learn more from the global perspective so that we can apply these things to our own countries. A major takeaway is the impact of new technologies and new tools to deliver healthcare in a uh, country with the logistical challenges of the PRC. Uh, during this the Congress, we introduce the new metabolic management centers. Until now, we have uh, more than 500 uh, hospitals and uh, the manager more than 100,000 patients in the whole China. We have too many diabetic patients to attend hospital regularly. So this patient has to be uh, treated remotely. I think over the next five years, what we're gonna see in diabetes is a big increase in, in what I call gadgets and devices. So continuous glucose monitoring, apps, pumps. The guys that have a very important role in, in accepting such technologies and means is the HMOs. And I think that HMOs should help such solution to happen by providing data that they have or the ability of a provider of such solution to get the data from patients. We have learned a lot about cardiovascular outcome. We have learned about novel technologies. We have learned about uh, obesity, its, its complications, uh, and the uh, absolute need to early treatment. I was very impressed from the presentations of the Chinese physicians and the research that uh, they do. And I believe that it will take only a few years to be the leaders in the world in treatment of uh, cardiovascular disease. CODI is a tremendous occasion to compare factors that are uh, somehow involved in the disease process in different parts of the world. We have CODI uh, here in Asia, we have CODI in South America, we have CODI in Europe, and it really is elevating the level of knowledge amongst physicians really throughout the world. It definitely is helping build a community, it definitely is helping sharing information and building better ties between the different facets of this enterprise. The major purpose is to establish the CODI family to fight with the diabetes. CODI always go three to five years in front of the guidelines. So I believe that what I take home as a message will be something that will catch the world, but within another three, four years.